In 1917, the Scouting Federation of New York arranged use of summer camp facilities at the Kahnawake Lakes in Harriman State Park for the five New York City Borough Councils. Brooklyn Council organized and operated Brooklyn Scout Camps for Brooklyn Scouts each summer from 1917 to 1927. It was divided into nine camps, Burton, Canavet, Pamrapo, Prairie, Chappaget, Hiawatha, Lemming, Cropsey, and Midwout. Tahlequah was the headquarters camp. In 1928, Brooklyn Scout Camps moved to Rock Lake at the new Ten Mile River Scout Camps near Narrowsburg, New York, becoming the first operating camp. Brooklyn Council continued to operate the camps until 1937 when the five borough councils merged into the new Greater New York Councils. Scout camp cost $15 for each two-week period. And to get to camp, 600 Brooklyn Scouts took the Hudson Ferry in Manhattan to Jersey City and the Erie Railroad on a three-hour ride to Tustin Station. Their camp trunks were sent separately to camp via Railway Express. At Tustin, the scouts were met by camp director Phil Wagner and his camp staff. The scouts put their packs on the camp truck and hiked the four miles to Tahlequah Lodge, the camp headquarters. Chartered bus service was not introduced until 1945. After registering at Tahlequah Lodge, each scout got a quick health check by the camp doctor. His next stop was the Quartermaster Lodge, where he picked up his camp trunk, a tick, and straw to fill it. He then hiked to his camp supply building for steel army cots and tents if needed. And after setting up the tent site, he went for his dock test. The first season at Brooklyn Scout Camps in 1928 consisted of 11 camps. Tahlequah, the headquarters camp, Wapaga, Keotale, Tanaweda, Osita, Ipatanga, Sakit, Katoki, Akaponek, Kanaquat, and Kennevet for veterans of the Kanawaki Lakes Camp. In 1929, camps Stehahe, Kunata, and Kowanoek were added. In 1932, Camp Apalachi was added. Each camp had room for 100 campers from different troops in 10 patrol army tents on wooden platforms. Junior staff stayed in two-man tents. Senior staff in a waterproof log cabin. The camp included a dining room, staff cabin, two latrines, two wash houses, and a storehouse. Camp staff consisted of a camp master, senior patrol leader, waterfront man, shared with one or two other camps, and a nature man, or bugler. Patrols were given kerosene lanterns for light at night. All non-kosher camp meals were cooked by a central kitchen in Tahlequah Lodge and delivered to the unit camp dining hall. Ice was cut from Rock Lake in the winter and stored in sawdust in the Tahlequah Lodge ice house. Scouts would rise with Reveille at 7.30 a.m., followed by breakfast, scout craft, games, and a morning swim. After a 12.30 p.m. lunch, the scouts had their siesta and then participated in afternoon activities, a swim, and then supper at 6 p.m. Following supper, there would be games and activities, and at 8 p.m., campfire, and then taps at 9.30. Many camp activities were centered around the Rock Lake waterfront with its multiple docks. Non-swimmers were restricted to the cribs where they received swimming instruction. Swimmers could go into the deep water and dive and use rowboats and sailboats and receive life-saving instruction. Canoeists had to first pass a special canoe test. Body checks occurred regularly. Fishing was also popular. Special waterfront activities included water meets with other camps and water polo.
The scouts could test their skills on the rifle range, the archery range, and in the craft lodge, where they could make anything from leather craft and beadwork to featherwork. Scouts could also construct lean-tos and arches and bridges and totem poles. They could visit the Nature Museum and the Tahlequah Lodge, walk the nature trail, study birds, do tracking, collect leaves and butterflies, or make plaster casts. Other activities included hiking, overnight camp trips, cave hunting, Indian relic hunting, and watching movies, printing, newspaper work, and horseback riding. Athletic activities included volleyball, tennis, basketball, baseball, handball, and boxing. There were also intercamp activities, including season swimming meets and the White Bar Relay Race. The cross-country race along the White Bar Trail was 14 miles long, with 10-man teams and awards for the winners. There was also a junior White Bar Relay Race for younger scouts. At the land meet, scouts from various camps tented together and competed in their outdoor camping skills. The Camp White Tahlequah Fire was the highlight of each two-week period at Brooklyn Scout Camps. Each camp had its own weekly council fire and stunt night. The best were repeated at the Camp White Fire each second Saturday night. All of the camps gathered on the slope in front of Tahlequah Lodge between 7 and 7.30 p.m. Each camp gave its cheer, and then it was followed by recognition, the awarding of camp badges, and a solemn, formal flag lowering. All campers then proceeded to the council ring, which was located above the family camp area. The council ring had a rugged six-tier pioneer stand that seated about half the scouts. Others sat on logs circling around the fire in the center. Facing the fire was a three-seat stone structure with a large wood blue heron in the center, the totem of Shushuga Lodge, Order of the Arrow. All of the campers filed silently across the valley along a trail marked by Order of the Arrow guides holding torches, stationed at intervals from the Tahlequah Slope to the Council Ring. In the opening ceremony, four Order of the Arrow members faced the cardinal points of the compass, and upon a signal from the chief, they invoked the wind of the north, east, south, and west to provide their blessings. A flaming arrow was then shot into the kindling from an adjacent tree. It blazed up in multicolors and set the logs on fire. Each of the camps were assigned specific weeks to present their skits, many of which were original and required much preparation. The campfire ended with an inspirational talk by Chief Kimball, later Jack Ornstein or Morty Hyman. A favorite hike was the 14-mile trek to Narrowsburg with a stop at the donut farm for a snack. Staff could also see real sound movies in the Narrowsburg Fire Hall. Tahlequah Lodge was a hotel before TMR was purchased in 1928. Until it burnt down in 1941, it was the largest building at TMR. As headquarters of Brooklyn Scout Camps, Tahlequah contained the Brooklyn Scout Camp departmental staffs, its offices, an assembly hall, library, stage handicraft lodge, hospital, central kitchen, storehouse, ice house, camp office, post office, barber shop, and nature museum. The nature museum contained collections of wood lore, birds, insects, reptiles, and minerals. The canteen was the most popular building in camp, with a selection of sodas, candy bars, ice cream cones, postcards, and handicraft items. It was open in the evening, and before each big campfire, with six windows on three sides. Cash was not accepted. Tokens were issued at the camp bank, and at the camp bank, personal monies could be deposited and withdrawn. The camp banker, who was a member of the camp staff, maintained a card for each scout recording all of the deposits and withdrawals. 